Hey there, Jocelyn Panita, the founder of the Scholarship System here, and thank you for joining our Paying for College series. Now, this time we're going to talk about a fun topic, one that is near and dear to my heart and one that I just feel so passionate about because it is so beneficial to students, and that is studying abroad. So if you are considering studying abroad, or maybe your child is, or maybe that you, you thought that it was just, there's no way that you could pull it off, maybe it's too expensive or something of that nature, you definitely need to watch this video. So there's three main topics that I wanna talk about with studying abroad. The first is the, the benefits of it, the, the pros and cons maybe, just for a second. Second is timing, where to time it in your college education. And third is paying for it. And I think you'll be surprised at what I tell you about the cost of, cost of studying abroad. So as far as the benefits of studying abroad, I actually studied abroad. I lived abroad for six months in Madrid, Spain, went a month early, had a full semester there, and then I stayed a month late. And I will tell you, it was absolutely one of the best experiences I've ever had. And if you talk to anyone that has studied abroad, anyone, they will tell you the same thing. And the reason is study abroad is so beneficial because it teaches students to be adaptable, to be flexible, to be great problem solvers, time managers. They learn so many critical skills that will help them in their future, that, that will help them succeed in the real world. And also it will help them succeed in college. So the, the benefits of studying abroad are just endless, but really if you wanted to come down to the benefits once you got back, you will absolutely have an easier time succeeding between being more flexible, more realistic, more adaptable, more relatable, more worldly, more cultured. It's just so beneficial. And then of course, it's a lot of fun. So study abroad is great. But now the second thing is what about timing? So a lot of students, they might think, ah, I don't know if I can go, I need an internship, I need to focus on getting a job. And of course you are in college to get a job, so that is absolutely right. But if you time study abroad right, then, then you actually could be fine. Now, I personally went in my sophomore year. Now, that was because I knew that my junior year, I wanted to focus on finding an internship and working that summer in my internship. However, I know plenty of people that were able to find an internship in the fall of their junior year, study abroad in the spring of their junior year, and then got back in time to do the internship. So really, you will study abroad in sophomore or junior year, depending on what works best for you. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about study abroad is the affordability. So this is our paying for college series, so I have to talk about the money side of it. But what might be surprising to you is that you can actually save money by studying abroad. I know that sounds crazy, but I promise it's true. Now, the way that you can do that is, first off, there are scholarships out there just for study abroad. So if you're going to study abroad, you can apply for scholarships specific to it. You can get money for your flight. You can get money covering things. But also, depending on where you wanna to go to study abroad, you can save money. So I was debating between Argentina and, and Spain. And in the end, I wanted to do, I ended up doing Spain just because I was able to pull in some scholarship money and so I was actually able to afford Spain. However, if I had gone to Argentina, I actually would have saved $2,000 that semester. And I mean, that's including my housing, my food, everything down there. So you can find a program that is actually more affordable than your tuition and your room and board at your university currently. So studying abroad doesn't always have to be this huge expense. Sometimes it can actually save money and of course you're getting a great experience at the same time. Now, when I went to college, I never thought study abroad would be in my future, but someone told this exact thing to me and that is what really kicked off my plan to study abroad and me actually studying abroad. So I hope that this video does exactly that for you. 
So again, we're talking here about paying for college, ways to make it more affordable, but also ways to make it more fun. And then if you can partner this with getting scholarships to pay for college, you are well on your way to graduating debt free. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button below, subscribe to all our videos. There will be more coming out, but they'll just be quick videos like this to help you along your way for paying for college and graduating debt free. So thanks for joining us and I hope to see you next time at the scholarship system.